yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and let us try to create our custom theme for our application over here so for that we will be using a material 3 theme builder over here you can also go and create manually but it will take much more longer time and we will be using a theme builder over here so you can go to the m3.the uh, material.io and then the theme that's the builder over here and you have option to whether to use a dynamic so you can just select uh, any image and then it can automatically select the uh, color for you as well as you can choose the custom so let's try to use the custom color over here and you can select the primary color and here you can select the um, the color right so you can choose the color picker and then you can adjust the uh, chroma as well as the tone over here so I guess we will be uh, just uh, selecting a different color over here and let's just make it a bit darker over here I guess that should be fine so now once you select that particular color you can see that it gives you a UI over here so you this is the card color this each of the checkbox and all of this stuff so you can just go down you can see text field and it's over here progress dialog uh, these are the chips i guess and then you have the button and then you have the floating accent button and then if you go down you have the uh light uh, light scheme as well as the dark scheme over here so you have the uh you know the color which so how it look like over here so once you have all of this setup you can just go and export this one over here so you can either export to the flutter and uh, we will be using a compose over here so let's try to export it to the uh, jetpack compose over here and once we export it you can just extract that particular file and once you extract that particular file you will get a two file that will be of the uh, color as well as the theme so what we need to do is we need to copy this one and for that let's just minimize this one and let's go to our uh, project over here and let's try to drag this color to the uh, theme color over here and just override that one so let's override the color and now you should see that you have a different color over here and you have a lot of the color that is set up over here and uh, let's try to open up the uh, another file so let's try to drag this theme file over here and let's drag it over here i guess we did not drag that one so let's try to wait for this one to complete and override it and just override that one and if you go to the theme over here and let's try to make it as a code over here you will see we have the light color as well as we will have the uh, dark color over here and now if you go down over here you will have the app theme over here so we will be using this app theme and also the uh, use the dark theme is a boolean var variable and it's, it is getting a system in dark theme so this will actually give you the if the system setting is currently on the dark theme so once we have this setup i guess we are good to go over here and now what we can do is let's try to uh i guess we need to rename the uh, package over here let's try to rename this package as well as we also need to uh, rename this particular package over here i think we are good with it and let's go to our activity over here and if you go to the uh, main app over here let's try to see what is the error over here so currently we don't have this particular theme we need to remove this one and this will be of the uh, app theme that we have right and, and then we are good to go and once we have that i guess we can pass in the uh, I guess we can pass in this one text the boolean variable where we use the dark theme so uh, use the use the dark theme uh, you can just either say true or false and then that should be fine and let's go and I guess we still have some error over here so let's try to rename this one over here as well 
and if you go to the rest of the screens now you need to uh, change that particular uh, theme so if you are using that particular theme over here so let's go and open up and then i guess we are not using it over here and then we have the uh, main app i guess that should be fine so let's try to uh, reload the application over here and once you restart your application you will see we get a different uh, kind of the color button over here so you can just go to the login and you go to the home screen and now it looks a bit different than the previous one so we have set up a different color for our particularly the uh, our application over here so let's go back to the uh, theme over here and let's try to understand a bit over here so we have the app theme and this is getting a system theme or whether it's in drag or the light and then we get the color over here so if it is on the dark mode we are if it is not in the dark mode then we are going to use a light color and if it is on the dark mode then we will use a dark color over here and in the material theme, we need to just pass in that particular uh, color and then as well as the content over here and if you want to customize the color uh, you can just come over here and customize the color to the in the color file over here so this is of the uh, primary and then we have the on primary primary container and then the on primary container and all of those stuff so if you want to customize it you can come and customize over here and then you can use the light color as well as the dark color over here and next if you want to give a different color to this particular uh, the app bar over here what we can do is let's go back to the uh, main activity over here and i guess what we can do over here is uh, we have the uh, let's go to the app theme over here and we have the main app and let's open the uh, main app over here and uh, this is the main app that we have over here and before the uh, i guess what we can do over here is before we open up the uh, our button navigation and for here let's try to wrap this one so let's try to open up our uh, this one let's try to wrap this one surround with the uh, wicket over here and i will try to use a container and for this one we'll just try to wrap with this one as the uh, let's try to use the and i guess we can use it over here or let's go back over here this is of the app theme or we can also wrap this one so let's try to wrap this one with the uh, surround with the wicket over here and we'll use the container over here and for this one we'll use the uh, sur fsc surface and with the surface uh, we, what we can do is the uh, we can do the uh, tonal uh, elevation over here and that will be of the we need to pass in the i guess we need to pass in the dp over here and first one is the uh, we will pass in the dp so that will be of the uh, let's say a five dot the dp over here and let's try to import that one over here and let me try to import that and once we import that let's go back to the main app and i guess we can remove this code from here and let's try to reload the application over here and now we will see that we got a different color over here so now you have this and if you go back to the login screen you will see that the background color and this color is matching over here so what we can do over here is we go to the uh let's go to the uh, uh home screen over here and for this column what we can do is we can change the color of the background color over here so what you can do is let's go and add the uh, dot the uh, background over here color will be of the uh material m a t e r i l material theme that we have dot the uh color scheme dot the we will use a background over here and if you try to reload the application uh, let's try to open up the home screen now you can see that it is separated we have a background color and, and then we have the uh, color for the button 
never as well as the app bar has been separated because we use a different color for our column background over here and now you see that you can also do the same thing for here and same thing for here it's depend on you then uh, you can choose uh, how you want to build your application and uh, for that let's go back to our main activity over here and if you don't want to have a five let's say you just want to have a lighter color and you can just increase it over here so if you try to reload then uh, you will see that it's a bit lighter compared to the previous one if you log in it you will get it over here and the next thing if you want to customize the color over here let's go back or let's go down over here and in the main app what you can do over here is for the nav bar uh, you can still provide the uh, let's provide the uh, I guess we can provide the tonal uh, elevation and then you can provide something like the add uh, the uh, dp over here and let's import this one over here and now let's try to reload it and let's try to take a look on how it looks like over here so now it looks a bit darker over here compared to the previous one so if you don't like this uh, a darker color you can reduce this one tonal elevation over here and if you go and open up again uh, let's try to take a look over here now it's uh, this one is still lighter but this this one is a bit uh, darker over here so in this way you can adjust the color and uh, then the uh, what you can also do is you can also add the uh, something like the uh, let me just add that one over here the content color as well as the uh, container color over here so you can just try to change the container color so that will be of the uh, material theme that we have so m-e-t uh, m-e-t-e-r uh, sorry m-e-t-e-r-i uh, not the m m-a-t-e-r-i material theme dot the color scheme dot the uh, you can change the different color over here so if you want to have a primary and, and then you can just try to reload it and let's try to open up the uh, the button you can see you can change that particular color over here and as well as you can also change the uh, another one is of the content color over here so you can just use the uh, same of this one just copy this one and paste it over here and you can use a different color like the on on primary or the on secondary so on I guess you can use the primary and just try to reload this one again and let's try to open up the button navigation so now you can see that you this is the content color is actually once you click on that one and if you don't want this one over here and you want to have something like the uh the error color over here and you can just try to reload the application over here and now you can see that once you this content color is actually coming up when you highlight this one right so when you try to click on that one it's actually giving you that particular color over here so if you don't want you can just comment this one out or remove it also if you go to the uh, item over here for the item you can still add the uh, color over colors over here that will be of the uh, navi gatr navigation uh, bar item color item default start the colors and using this color you can customize the color for let's say and the uh, indicator color so you can use the material or material uh, theme dot the uh, on color so material theme dot the color uh, color scheme dot the uh, you can use the something like the uh, inverse primary and also you can uh, use the the uh, selected text color or you can use the selected icon color so let's just change the selected text color over here and that will be of the something like of this one just copy this code and paste it over here and you can just change this one to on uh, i guess it should be on the inverse primary or inverse surface over here and i guess you can just use this one for now 
and let's try to reload the application and now you, will, uh, you see that once it is highlighted you will get this particular color and then you will have a different color so i guess it's on the if you want to make it the on primary i guess it's the white color or something if you go and check the color over here this is of different colors so if you want to have the white color so it i guess it's the on secondary or the on background so if you want to have a different color over here one it is selected so you can customize it from here so we'll use the on a uh, primary over there let's try to test that one over here sun primary and let's try to reload the application let's log in so now you can see that this the color has been changed to a different one but i guess that's not the uh good color so let's try to uh, have the uh an uh, email surface over here so let's try to reload it one more time and let's try to log in and now i guess it's better over here and in this way you can also customize the uh top app bar color over here so for that you can go to let's open up the login screen over here and uh, here you have the option to pass in the uh, color over here which is a top app bar color over here so let's try to pass in the uh, col colors over here that will be of the uh, top app bar default over here dot the and we using this you can provide the uh, the colors i guess the container colors and uh, that will be off so if you go inside and take a look you can provide the container color and the uh, title color and all of those stuff. but let's provide the container color that's coming from the uh, mate material theme dot the color scheme dot uh, you can just provide the like the uh, primary color or the secondary color which so let's provide that and let's try to reload the application and you'll see now uh, you have a different color for your uh, app bar over here so depending on your requirement so you can customize the uh, material color that you have defined over here so let's try to comment out this one for now and we don't want to have a different color for that one i guess this looks good over here and uh, we are good with that and similarly let's just go to the home screen and let's try to add the uh, floating action button and let's try to uh, customize it or the color over here so flo a floating action um, button over here not the position that will be of the uh, we need to add the uh, f l o a t floating action button or you can use the extended uh, ex uh, and the extended floating action button over here and i guess uh, let's try to use this particular button over here and let's try to provide i guess this is coming from the uh, material 2 over here and let's go on to the top over here we need to import the material 3 not the uh, material 2 over here so let's try to uh, remove this one from here and let's try to import the material 3 over here instead of the material 2 over here and once we have that extended uh, let's try to arrange this one over here and first is what we will have the uh, text over here and text uh, let's add in the uh, text over here and the string we will provide the like let's say uh, add over here and then next we will require the icon and let's say the uh, icon and the image vector will be the icons dot the uh, default dot the let's say uh, add over here and description let's just provide the uh, add as well over here and i guess we are good with that and once we have uh, that we can also change some like the container a uh, color and i guess we have some error extended floating action button and i uh, cannot find a parameter name text over here but i guess it should be of the extended floating action button 
So that should be fine. And let's try to change the uh, image material theme dot the colors scheme dot the uh, let's say you can use the primary container or the primary as well over here. And let's try to comment this one out. And let's try to we have some error. Let's try to fix this. And I guess we need the on click over here. That's why we are getting that error. And let's try to arrange that one. So we don't want to have any of those. And this one we need to provide inside the row scope or the lambda over here. And now let's try to reload the application. And let's go to the login. Now we have that particular button over here. So you can check the color if the default color if you don't provide the container color over here. And you can just reload the application login and you will get a different call so you can provide the container color if you want and also as well as the you can provide the another one is the uh, content color uh, not the container it should be of the c-o-n-t content color and with this you can also provide the material theme dot the uh, primary over here or you can just change it to something like on primary and just try to reload the application and let's try to log in so now you get a different color over here so if you want you can update this one to a different color add more darker color and then this one make it as the uh, primary over here so you have a different over here so that's uh, the thing that you can customize over here so in this way you can customize the uh, theme color providing the uh, using the uh, the color that we have provided over here and which we have used it with the light color as well as the uh, dark color and if you want to change that on the uh, setting so if you go back and let's open up the uh, setting and we will change it to the uh, dark theme over here if you want to have the uh, dark theme i guess you can just go and change it to the dark theme over here and if you try to reload the application and i guess we don't have that applied over here so if you go back to your activity and here we are using the on use the dark theme so i guess if you don't provide this one over here and if you try to restart this one it should get the dark theme because now we are using the actual system theme over here so it's also perfectly fine away. It's look beautiful as well, uh, beautiful in the dark theme as well as in the light theme. So in this way, you can customize the color depending on your um, the application requirement. And I guess that's all for this lesson. We will meet up in the uh, next lecture. Till then, have a great day.